is up, internet? How are you people? Behind me is the ballroom. The ballroom only has poker in it when it's a special poker event or poker season. We're joining the $400 main event or mini main event, whatever it is. It's 400 bucks to play and $1 million guaranteed prize pool. Let's head in there. Let's catch some flops. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so first things first, if you're new here, welcome to KG Poker. Please understand that I am not a professional and play very tight, or I guess you can say unorthodox. I created this channel to try to improve as a player and make a serious side hustle. It might take me a while to get there, but that's the goal. You can see, for example, in this hand where I look down at Queen Jack suited and only call the $100 big blind. Reason being is that I just sat down I don't know the players yet, and it might even be weirder to you that I fold to a raise of 1600. But as you can see, we missed the flop, and I saved myself some chips here. Now for tournament poker, I'm going to go through a lot of these hands quickly, because a lot of hands are just like bet, flop, fold. So I'll have all the details on the screen when it's a more interesting hand and longer hand. I've recorded almost all, if not all, the hands that I played at this tournament. Okay, so the blinds are up to 2-2-1, two, two, or 2-1-2, two, two, and we look down at Jack-9 on the big blind. We check the flop, the flop comes 10-queen-4-rainbow. Obviously, we're going to go into call mode right now. Player makes it 400. We call his bet. The turn comes the king of clubs. He checks it to me. I bet 1400 and we take it down. Now, I know it looks like we're doing fantastic so far, but there's a lot of hands that I'm not showing you that go something like this. We're on the button. We got ace four. Somebody makes a bet. We call it. We get re-raised. And then we just basically end up folding because our hand is not good enough in my opinion, to continue to see a flop, even though we're in position. I think if any ace hits the board besides ace four, we're kind of not really doing too good. After a few people make the call of 200, I look down at king nine offsuit. I throw in the call and the button to my left raises to $700. He gets a few callers and when it's on me, it's an extra 500 to close out the action. I toss in the call. So now the flop comes nine, jack, nine with two diamonds. Action gets checked to the button who bets $1,200. Mid position player goes all in for around 8,000. As you can see here, I'm really, really thinking this hand over because it's very unlikely that he has his beat right now, but we still have two cards to come with the button behind us left to act. I count out the call and see how much I have left over and think a little while before tossing in the call. Everyone else folds, so it's heads up to the turn and river. The turn is clean, but the river makes a flush on the board, and we get shown Queen Deuce of Diamonds. Ouch. So now our stack is crumbled, and we need to seriously get a few hands to go in our favor to make a comeback. In this hand, I look down at 6-9 suited on the big blind. Mid position makes a raise of $800. He gets one extra caller. I toss in the call, and we see a flop of 8-4-6. So we flopped ourselves a middle pair, and we got a bunch of backdoor outs. So... I check the flop, and the mid-position player makes it a 1,000 to go. I toss in the call, so now it's heads up, and we go to the turn, which is a deuce. I check it, and he checks back, so we go to the river, which comes the 9. It's on me, and I draw out a bit of 2,000. 2000. Our villain goes deep into the tank, thinking this hand over, but eventually he tosses in the fold, and we take it down. Nine hundred. You must have like six people online doing it. Nine hundred. Nine. Sixty. 
18. Unfortunately, our stack is dwindling, not really getting any good hands going our way, but we're still trying to make it happen. Being patient sometimes pays off. Two thousand. Two thousand's a bet. If you guys are paying attention to the blind counter on the top of the screen, we actually even skipped the blind of not getting any kind of hands, not getting any good cards, just basically getting blinded out or playing small hands and just folding. We're down to our last five thousand in this tournament. Now I know people's strategy, especially when they're this low stack and they see a face card, with only 12 big blinds they're pretty much shoving most of the time, but I don't like playing like that. I like waiting for at least some kind of decent hand, especially because the blinds are so long in this tournament, I have the option of being a little bit patient and waiting for a better spot. I'm all in for Players less. All in for 3,000 tournament chips. You and NFC. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I knew there was still one more card to come. Oh, man. What an unbelievable run out. Seeing that jack on the turn was like soul crushing. But I knew that we still had outs to the river, and we somehow hit one of those outs. We are still in this thing. A few moments later. We are not doing good. Every hand that I've been getting has been super unplayable. Right now, I have 4,000 left in chips. Now, it's not game over, right? It's poker is poker. Got kept alive just now with Ace King versus Ace Jack, and the player to my right turned the Jack. But we rivered the queen for the straight, kept us in the game, got us up to like 8,000. Played a hand there too. The blinds are so high. I haven't had anything that I could just shove with. I'm on the big blind already, so I might as well just call. I have so much money invested already. And just situations like that have been brutal. But we still have chips. Our goal right now is to turn 4,000 into like 150,000. It's possible but it's just so heartbreaking, everything that's been happening. The two nines on the flop, the two nines on the jack really set the pace for how today was gonna go. We could definitely reverse it, but that was brutal, unnecessary. <sighs> you got there on the river. People are starting to buy in still to this tournament. So if I get 20,000, it's like I just sat down, which is not great, but people are actually buying in right now to play starting with 20 grand so let's see what we can make happen so the blinds are now 1500 1000 i think it's time that we skip all the non-impactful hands and 
skip to some more important stuff. If you guys like the way that this video is going with me showing a lot of the hands, even though they're not really important, let me know so I can continue to do that for the next video. Or if you like this second half better of me just skipping to like the major stuff. Also, let me know in a comment below so I can know how to film and edit the next tournament vlog. Okay, so if anybody you know ever said that poker doesn't have any luck involved, they need to watch this video. I'm all in for 3,000. The player to my left goes to 10,000. So they get a bunch of folds, and then the player to my right thinks about it for a little while, but then finally makes the call. That's so painful anymore, huh? Yeah, I fold. Keep both hands, please. Nice push. You heard the gentleman. He folded ace king because the guy to my right had queen jack and shipped it with the straight draw and flush draw and missed everything. By him pushing out ace king, we win our side pot, putting us right back into the mix. A few orbits later, I finally pick up another premium, look down at ace king suited. We have a raise in front of us, but we're not really going anywhere with this hand, of course. We're going all in, and we get called, and we hit a king on the flop, doubling us up. <laughs> so after playing a few orbits of nothing but BS after BS, we look down at the Ace of Spades, and that's such a good feeling, finally seeing a premium card. And then we look at the other one, and it's another Ace. Let's freaking go. We only have a little bit of a stack here. I think we had like 7,500, somewhere around there. We go all in, we get called, we see all five cards, and we are good. You got a lot of sweat there. Jack, a king or a queen? Oh. I really respect the way you're playing. I'm serious. This is like the fourth hand he played in like an hour. That was he won every single one of them. I'm like, Ace King? He's like, no, way better. <laughs> what are you talking about? So now that we have a decent stack and we look down at a what I would consider a premium hand, we want to put these chips to use. I raise the 3500 and we get shoved on immediately. I do not want to go out with Queen Jack. So I toss in the fold and he flips over his cards to show us pocket kings. <laughs> Do we have a decent chance of winning against Pocket Kings here? I mean, I guess really any two cards could be any two cards in this game, but definitely don't want to go up against Kings, so we make a good lay down. Something to note prior to this hand is that I've seen a lot of small pocket pairs and folded them because it would have to have been an all-in or fold situation, didn't want to go out, but now that I have a decent stack, I have a raise in front of me, I really want to call because I haven't seen a flop with all the small pocket pairs I folded. I figured this is probably going to be the hand that flops a set. But I don't want to risk any of my hard-earned chips on such a small pocket pair. So I make the lay down, and I immediately see a 4 on the flop. Soul crushing, I knew that was the time that I was going to hit a set. But unfreaking believable that somebody had pocket 8s, and they had a higher set. I folded for us. Oof. Yeah. I would have just shoved pre flop or something. Oh. We're hanging in there. Bad situations, but we're coming out okay. I just need to double up like twice and I'll be right back in it. I just can't seem to get traction and like stick with the traction like i hit pocket aces guy had 14 outs after the turn but we survived we're getting in good situations and we're just making like a little bit of chips but then one bet you're right back down to short stack again but we're doing okay i have 10k in chips very happy about that we'll see what happens in a little bit once the break is over 
So I looked down at pocket sixes once the blinds hit 2,000, 1,000, 2,000. I know a lot of people would just shove here being under the gun. I see no reason to. I think throwing in the call and evaluating from there is the better move for me. So I toss in the 2,000. We go to a flop which comes a 6 3. So when it's on me, we finally got the okay to go all in. I go all in, we get one caller, and we hold up. Instant double up after the break. Two pair. Three flutter. If there's one hand to watch throughout this whole video, this would be the hand to watch. I look down at ace 10 of diamonds. The blinds are still 2-1-2. Two, two. We get a few limpers after the blinds. I decide to raise to 9,000, try to build up a nice pot. We built up our stack nicely. We're playing conservative. We're not doing anything crazy. We get three callers. The flop comes 10-10 deuce with two hearts. We are absolutely crushing this game tonight. We was down to like 3,000 chips. Now we got like over 65,000 and we're flopping trips with the nut kicker. It gets checked to me. I bet 19,500. The gentleman in the middle folds, but the player to my right goes all in. Now, the only hands that I'm putting this gentleman on that's going all in because we had a similar stack size is hearts, a pair plus flush draw, things of that nature. Especially if he has a 10, we're ahead of all those hands. So without thinking much, I just toss in the call. I call. Well, there you have it, folks. We are out of the tournament from flopping trips to a flopped full house. Now, I've been beating myself up over this hand, trying to figure out what went wrong. And the only conclusion I came up with is my pre-flop size. But the pre-flop, like if I went to 15,000 and he called, the turnout would still be the same. I've messaged a whole bunch of people that I know even asked some people on Discord, and everyone pretty much says you just have to go all in here. There's not really any choice. We're in a tournament. We're trying to get as much chips as possible. There's so many hands that he could have that were beating. The pocket deuces was the only hand we lost to. I don't think anybody's calling with 10 deuce pre-flop. So the hands that I put him on were flush draws, King Queen of Hearts could have called here. Jack Queen of Hearts could have called here. There's so many possibilities of us winning this hand. But we unfortunately got the one scenario, the one universe where he's got pocket twos here. Absolutely soul-crushing way to lose this tournament, especially after all of those chips that we gathered going up from 3,000 in chips all the way up to 65, over 65,000 in chips. To have it go out this way was soul crushing. This happened like three days ago and I'm still beating myself up over it. Oh man, guys, that is so freaking heartbreaking. Walking out of the hard rock. Made it 9,000 with ace 10 suited. Get called by pocket deuces and he flops the freaking set. That is freaking disgusting. What do I do there? I don't think there's really any move to do. The only thing I could have done was think someone called with pocket deuces and fold on the flop. 
That's not happening. <sighs> Son of a gun. Well, I gave it a freaking good run for being carded. Or being low stacked the whole night, I should say. <sighs> that is so freaking aggravating. Nerve wracking. Two things could have changed about that hand, I guess. One, I could have made it a little bit more money pre-flop. Maybe get pocket deuces to fold. Or, I could have just called a 2,000. But then I see a flop and then he sees a flop, 10, 10 deuce, still comes out the same outcome. So my only option really was shove 30 big blinds pre-flop, ace 10. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. I thought I did a decent bet. I went almost 5x the big blind, 4.5x or whatever. And it just didn't... Got, he got the set, got three of a kind deuces. <sighs> Man, what a disappointing way to go. Trip 10s with ace 10. Well, we was in for 400. We're out for zero. Now, when I say 400, we were staked in this tournament. So. <sighs> yeah, we're out for zero. Didn't get to make it to day two, but whatever. Nothing really we could do about it now, except go home and cry. <laughs> no, it's not that big of a deal, but it's definitely, uh, definitely not a fun feeling getting knocked out like that. I should have been able to, that should have held, or I should have hit a 10 or an ace, or the board pairs giving me the full house. That is so disappointing. I guess there's not much else to film anymore. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really tried making that short stack go in. It kind of did towards the end, but man, one hand could destroy you. Pocket deuces. Unfreaking believable.